Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBatcher.com out here for another gear view and today talking magazines. Probably my favorite mags, these right here, which are the Surefeed E2 by OK Industries. What are they? They are basically metal USGI mags for your AR platform, standard capacity, 30 rounds, and they're pretty cool. On the one hand, they're actually pretty light, like lighter than your polymer P mags. You're like, how can that be? True facts. And yeah, like overall, they're pretty solid. These E2 have some kind of cool things going on with them also. How it took basically like 70 years to figure out how to texture magazines is beyond me, but they finally figured it out. So on the one hand, you have this texture, which I actually really like. And then in addition to that, basically kind of the feed lips are cut a little different than kind of your standard magazines. But overall, been really pleased with these magazines. One thing that is nice, depending on kind of how you carry your magazines. Earlier I was talking about PMAGs and they might have fixed it with like the Gen 3 ones. But basically at the base, it's wider down here. So what would happen is if you had like a double mag pouch and they were shoved in there, they would kind of wedge themselves and push out at the top. Or even if you had like a shingle and then another shingle, something like that, it'd be weird because the geometry was bigger at the top and didn't play well, basically. These do not have that issue. Of course, you can still access to clean them. Basically, you remove this plate here or you can get aftermarket base plates like this guy right here from Magpul. Honestly, this is probably kind of my favorite configuration for this magazine, like this mag with these base plates, in part just because that little bit of rubber, not that I'm concerned about like these dropping on concrete, gravel, whatever, but being able to essentially like monopod this thing off of the magazine, gives it a little bit of texture versus well, this side, I guess, just like jamming that on concrete, makes it a little easier to do. And also depending on the depth of your like mag pouches, again, a little more purchase, being able to draw that thing out. Overall though, I've been really pleased with these things. I wanna say I got probably, I don't know, like eight or 10 of them sent out by Shooting Surplus. Been using them for, well over a year. I want to say I ended up using these, yeah, shot them in a bunch of different courses, shot them on a lot of different platforms. Bunch of different guns, 5.56, five, even to include some 300 Blackout, but yeah, shot across all kinds of different platforms. They've done a great job for me.
far as 300 blackout, like OK Industry, Surefeed is not like, hey, these are 300 blackout magazines. I will say sample size of one. I've shot them, have not ran into any issues. Basically the geometry in here though is made for 5.56. Does that matter? It does depending. So 300 blackouts kind of like the Wild West, especially when you get into subs, you have giant fat, long bullets, stuff like that. I know I've shot supers, had zero issues. You could probably find some sort of subs out there that would give you issues, but sample size of one, they've done a great job with supers for me. If you're looking for a really solid, dependable AR mag, standard capacity, I would encourage you to check them out. I got these through shooting surplus. I think price-wise, a little over 10 bucks a piece, which honestly I think is a pretty good deal. You can get them in gray, tan, or I believe they have them in black also. And if you wanna get some, I would encourage you to do so sooner rather than later. Word on the street is OK Industries is actually gonna stop making these after this year, this year being 2022. So if you wanna get some, probably wanna do that sooner than later. And lastly, if you appreciate my content and wanna support it, I greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is supporting me directly through Patreon. Little as a dollar a month, gets you early access to videos, some exclusive content, and access to our Discord server. Over there, a lot of great people, a lot of great information, and if you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.